Hello there, everyone. I'm Crazy Kill, and today we are taking a look at Simon Sounds. This is a rather quite difficult, um, rather quite easy to mess up module, I will say. Um, it is a little bit tricky, as the manual here says. And the first thing that we need to do is figure out what sound the module is making based off of these four uh, sample buttons. We can press these buttons as many times as we can, but these four buttons are input buttons. Do not press these until you actually know your answer. So, that sound that it makes right there, right here, that sound, we need to figure out which one of these buttons makes the same sound as that. In this case, it's yellow. So, our first color of the sequence is yellow. So now, looking at these sample buttons, the colors are really messed up. So what we need to do is, so we're going to highlight yellow, because that's our first color, and we need to look at these conditions that first apply. Starting off, the number of port plates is greater than three. One, two, three. No, it's exactly three, so that does not apply. The number of double A batteries is greater than the number, the, the number of double uh, number of D batteries. One, two, three. Or no, um, there are four double A and one D. So that does true. That is true. So this will be what applies for this condition. Now let's do the same thing for the input buttons down here as well. So the number of solved modules is greater than the number of unsolved modules. This will not be the case for the rest of the tutorial. Just letting you know because there's only one module per bomb. And that doesn't matter. It's not going to work. The number of battery holders plus the number of port plates plus the last digit of the serial number is less than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, that is not true. Serial and parallel ports are present. Not true. Lit Bob or unlit November Sierra Alpha? No indicators. So the otherwise applies. So since our first color was yellow, let's take a look at it in here. That equivalates to blue. So now we'll go down here and we'll plug blue in. And this is what we'll submit to action right here. So it's taking our sample buttons and figuring out what this actually means. And then we'll go down here. And now that we figured out what it actually means, this is what we submit. So let's input red. Two same sounds, so it's yellow again, so that means red, red. Now we need to find the new sound. It is blue in this case. Yep. So I'm just going to mark these now, yellow, yellow, blue. And yellow means red, in this case. And blue, in this case, is equal to yellow, which yellow is equal to green. And this is what we'll input. So red, red, green. It does last for three to five stages. Alright, let's try this again. The number of port plates is greater than three. One, two, three, four. That is true. Yes. So this condition does apply, and it will only. It's the first valid condition applies. First valid condition applies. For our input buttons, let's take a look. Uh, never this rule I said. Number of battery holders plus number of port plates plus last digit of the in the serial number is less than ten. We have one. We have one being our last digit in serial. We have no battery holders, and we have one, two, three, four. So that's equal to five. So that rule does apply, and that's what and that's the condition that applies. Now let's take a look at this. Let's tap one of these buttons to make a sound, and then it and then it'll give you the sequence. In this case, that is blue. Blue is actually yellow, so in this case, yellow 
we are going to be inputting red. Now let's, just, now let's try to find this new button. Not red. Those are the same. Yep. So, so it was blue, green, and then we figured out that blue was yellow and yellow was red. Now, green equals red, and red, you input yellow. So let's input that. So, red, yellow, F, X. Blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. Yep. Blue, green, red. So now that we know that red, yellow, red, uh, blue, green is equal to red, yellow, red, in this case, is going to be equal to blue, and blue is equal to blue in this case. So, that's what we submit. Red, blue, blue. Let's solve one. I'm waiting to get a five stage and hoping to get a five stage, but this is pretty much it to this module. It's, it is a little weird, I must say, going from like red to blue and then blue to blue, or blue to yellow and then yellow to red, but it's pretty straightforward. It's not really that hard at all. So number of port plates is greater than three, not the case this time. The number of AA batteries is greater than the number of D batteries. Oh, by far. There's six AA's and no D batteries. Um, uh, never applies. The number of batteries, battery holders, plus the number of port plates, plus the last digit of the serial number, is less than ten. Two, three, four, five, six. That, that is true, yes. 6 is definitely less than 10, so that's our condition that applies. Now let's take a look at the module. It is yellow in this case. Yellow, we start off with, goes to blue, and then blue goes to blue. So yellow, in this case, we input blue. Yellow, green. Next one is green. Green is actually green. And green is actually green. Go figure. It's yellow, green, yellow. So that's blue, green, blue. Here we go. I believe that was red. Yep, yeah, so that's a red. A red goes into a red. And a red goes into a yellow. That is what we will submit. Blue, green, yellow. Here is a five stage one that I'm looking for. That next one is a green, and we already cleared up that green is indeed a green. Green is green down here, so green is green. We'll press blue, green, blue, yellow, green. And that's a solved module. Not really much else to it, just making sure that you um, understand that the, um, the color of, of the sample buttons as well as the input buttons are messed up. So that's how you would figure it out. I'm Crazy Caleb, and as always, I hope you enjoy. Stay crazy, stay cool, and don't explode. See you guys.